What shade of blue should you paint your house? American bungalows of the early 20th century come with all sorts of architectural details, but a large sloping roof that hangs over a front porch is somewhat standard. When that roof is shingled in brown, blue siding brings an additional earth color to a traditionally natural house style. The red screen door adds just enough contrast to not overpower the overall look. White trim is a typical second color to any shade of blue. Shades of blue aren't just for smaller homes. Architectural details are emphasized when painted a lighter color and contrasting colors can spotlight the beautiful lines of your house. What do you want to emphasize? The Ditmas Park area of Brooklyn, a borough of New York City, is rich in larger craftsman bungalows and various colonial revival homes popular in the early 20th century. Mixing blues can be tricky because two different shades of blue will clash. To be safe, stay with a single blue and choose whites, grays, and red for moldings and details. Robin's egg blue isn't a traditional Victorian color, but it harmonizes well with the gray color of this home's gray metal roof. The trim is a crisp off-white, with a darker color for accents. The city of Delray Beach in Florida is filled with color. From an artist's studio to a poet's cottage near the Atlantic Ocean, the blue color of the sky and ocean permeate the surroundings. For houses with loads of details, experimentation is in order. Choose a color you like for the siding, and then paint and repaint the handrails, spindles, gables, corbels, and cornices. Not all blue colors work together. Even if the colors are speckles in the asphalt shingles when colors don't work together, change them. Experimentation with color combinations is a good thing. Ask your neighbors, however, if that pink gable works for them. Even with other pink highlights, this combination might be making an unexpected statement. That doesn't mean that pink and deep blue colors do not belong on the same facade. Color is an adventure, but be flexible to change. The location of your house may affect the colors you choose. At some latitudes, the sunlight and climate are less variables than places farther away from the Earth's equator. In northern environs of the United States and Canada, expect a white coating of snow for several months of the year. Sure, you may paint your house in the summer sunshine, but what will it look like in the low sun of winter? The contrasting white snow may make it look better than ever. The plantings surrounding your home can add distinction at any time of year. Since shades of violet contain more blue than shades of purple, skip the wine and plums and try complementing colors such as mauve, lavender, wisteria, or African violet, all colors derived from nature. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.